All right, hey everybody, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. How are we all doing today? So we're, we're kind of in a very challenging place right here, okay? So we, we found support. Here's my issue. We've, we're sitting right on top of uh, a bunch of, of uh, technical support. Let's just call it technical support, okay? Uh, we've got some moving averages right underneath us uh, that got to get run through. That are all very close, right? Um, so we're just going to kind of run down here. There's your three day. Look, you got you got your seven MA right down here, thirty six hundred. Uh, look at your two day. You're sitting on top of that moving average right there, right? You're sitting on top of the seven MA. Uh, the daily, uh, the daily you got the thirty MA right below you on the daily, right? It's just parked right below you, thirty seven hundred. Um, you've got this bullish cross going to happen. Not, not one candle till they'll touch, but they won't cross till the following candle. Uh, now, if this does dump down here over the next uh, hour and a half, it, it will push this uh, bottom 3MA, uh, 30MA lower, right? It'll push that bottom 30MA uh, lower. It definitely won't cross. Uh, now, you've got uh, you've got a bunch of, you know, you got a bunch of moving averages. You've got uh, the, the 50MA right here. On the six hour, it's parked right above you, right below you again, right here, 3,600. So, you, you know, you got a bunch of stuff. Look, you're, you're literally laying, you're laying on top of the 200 MA right here, right? So your, your 200 MA is literally just holding the price up right now, okay, on your four hour. So, so we see that we've got a bunch of these uh, moving averages right to four hour so we've got a bunch of moving averages that are all parked right underneath us right like directly underneath us and if they break that's great now look at your bearish volume this bearish volume down here is uh, good this is actually increasing bearish volume this next candle will be uh, definitely break that volume bar uh, now your trend, your bearish trend has kind of been, uh, you know, a little bit almost, I would say down macro, right? A little baby, little small bullish, but not as, as, as divergent as the, uh, the, 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 uh, bullish, right? So you see your bullish divergence, right? Actually, actually it's bearish divergence on the uh, bullish volume. And then here's your, uh, your divergence for your, uh, bearish volume. So you, you do have some really good bearish volume now everything's kind of died out here right oh, it's a holiday this is what's to be expected i kind of warned everybody i said hey holiday volume has been low it's always low i mean if you guys have been watching my charts you know it's always been low but i'm going to go into some things that do have me worried so listen we're sitting on a bunch of support right and this can cause a bounce, another dead cat bounce. Like came down just right here. This, there's no, this is all this did, right? We came down and, uh, hold on a second, let me pull up, see what I got here. Take that off. All right. Uh, so came down here and I want to show you what we bounced off. Let's go find it there. Look at the, the daily 50 MA, we tacked it. Look, the two day 7 MA, we tapped it. The weekly's actually on top of us. The weekly's way up here on top of us, right? It's overhead. It's overhead. So we have nothing to worry about that. That's what's actually holding the price down. You've got a bunch of moving averages that are coming crashing down. They're holding the price down. But we see what's also right below us. So we do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of support right below us. We're kind of trapped in a kind of a big squeeze right here simply because the price went up so much and it's now coming down. And what's happening on these higher time frames over here is look what's happening on these higher time frames. All these moving averages are just like, oh, wait for us, wait for us, right? They're coming down. Now this three day, you're gonna, oh, look, these are gonna cross. So you are gonna get a bearish cross on the three day. This will be in... 14 hours, not 13 hours, you're going to get a bearish cross. This is very bearish. This is 100 and the 200 MA. 
then you're going to have another bear cross on the weekly between the 30 and the uh, the uh, 100. This is another bear cross. This will play out. I don't care how high this candle goes up. This candle will get knocked down. It'll get the living shit slapped out of it by that bear cross. If we decide to hover in this area much longer, uh, this will get smacked down. Listen, in 14 hours, I'm just not going to be in. I'm going to just... I'm just going to hold off in 14 hours because I don't like this bear cross right here, okay? You know, and, and what, what I'll do is I'll go back. Let's go back and let's take a look. Uh, you know, let's go back. So here's the three-day. That's the 100 and the, uh, there's your 100 and the uh, the 200. So there's your 100 and the 200. So look at this. Boom. You got a short call on the three-day because of this bear cross. I mean, you just... it. it that's not this is this is not safe to be going long here in the next 14 hours you want to scalp right here go for it right you want to scalp a little bit go for it all right so i'm going to throw this up on the members area i'm just going to say warn the fucking in 14 hours the three day uh um bear cross of the what is it? It's the 100, 200 MA will happen. I will not be in any long positions with any uh, leverage. Like if I go into a, a long position, right? For some reason. If I feel I, I if I feel there's a shift in the momentum, some crazy news comes out, right? This uh, a long for me would be on news or some crazy pump from here. All right, uh, really quick, I want to go over what I, I did I, I, yesterday. Let's just go over yesterday, okay? Uh, do, 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 do. Where are my calls? Where are my calls? All right. So, uh, listen, I have been kind of on fire, everybody. I mean, I have been on fire with some of my calls lately. I've been doing really good. Uh, you know, I, I, I did, I've been doing really, just nailing out some really good calls. Pulled this ETH short crushed it and then I took I adjusted my positions I took half of my profits off of ETH ETH then this is my short ETH then bounced it was perfect I, it was a great trade um, ETH just came up let it take me out of my stop loss uh, so I took half my position took a little money off the table it was like seven eight hundred bucks no big deal uh, just a little fun fun money and then uh, then I got in I said hey I'm going for a long scalp, long, 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 long scalp. And, and everybody who got into this scalp, this was 100% an easy money scalp, right? I called that scalp right there. And this money, this was just so easy. If, let's see, here's this is our BTC chart right there. Got it. All right, so let's see where we're at. So we did. We hit the 30 MA. So we're looking. We're at 37, uh, 63. When I called the long scalp, right, 37, 63. You guys saw. It. Then I changed my chart. I adjusted my chart. I said, watch for this top line right here. We went from 37, 23, all the way up to almost 3,900 in a long scalp. That was beautiful. Uh, we hit the top line. We hit the historical support line. And then it just bounced off that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Good trade. Perfect long scalp, right? Great long scalp that played out exactly like we wanted it to. And then I then flipped my trade, right? So I reduced, I actually reduced my long on BTC, which sucked, right? So I took a little bit less profit. Uh, my stop loss got ripped. Uh, I actually I took out, I closed my trades. I closed all of my trades right? I closed all my trades. And then what I did is I actually just opened a short. I just opened a very low leverage short right here, right? That's it. So 
uh, I just I, I made a very low leverage short and uh, I, I just I, here's my thought even a pump here that would pull us up to 39 even 4k right it's got to test this trend line so even a run up here for me would only be an opportunity I feel from here to reshort this right and I just opened up the smallest position. I really am not interested in trading right now because I'm not going to be around the computer. I'm not going to be around nothing for the next day. Okay, I'm not going to be around nothing. Okay, so I just want everybody to know that. Like, I am not going to be around anything at all. I'm not going to have the ability to trade. I'm, I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere. So I just reduced my positions all the way down not worried about it go up go down I don't freaking care I'll catch you later okay so yes yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just look at some of these signs that I don't like right now okay so we're just gonna go through some signs that I don't like uh, that I'm seeing on the charts right now so number one here's our MACD we just broke bearish we just broke with our very first histogram uh, tick to the bear side this is on a 12-hour chart, so uh, I like I look at the pattern of this histogram right here, very bearish. And we'll show this on one of the other charts. You came up, you did this little hippity hippity hop, right? Came up again, a second uh, shoulder, then the very tippy top, then you fall out, right? There's that first shoulder, second shoulder, and then the top, then you fell out. Now, are we going to take a dump as far as this right here? I'm not quite sure, but. This is a very bearish pattern. This pattern also kind of played out here. First shoulder, second shoulder, tippy top, and then it was just continuation down. Now here we did break the indicator line. We did also turn this uh, histogram bearish. This is the very first tick on a bearish histogram. So I'm going to be really interested. I just, once again, I don't like the fact that we're staring at a couple death crosses on the daily and uh, I'm sorry on the three day and on the uh, on the weekly I don't like those right uh, we also are about to break the law this long trade line so listen what's good for the goose is good for the gander you've got two lines here these two white heavy dotted lines uh, we broke through the first one right as soon as we broke for the first one that was bear second one that is also bear Uh, so the second one right here, we are just about to break through it. Now, it is the only time it has acted as support is right here. You go back. This is the last time it acted as support. Kicked us back up from one little higher high. Then we fell out. And th that was it, right? Now, if we start to break this, we really got to put in some good momentum. And I want to see this go get broken a lot further. But you see, historically, we did have support right here. So there's one little inkling of support. Uh, here's the other chart that really worries me. Is This is, and I'll show you this on a better chart. I don't like that one. Let me get back to that. Let me go to this. All right. Uh, nope. Okay. So this looks like a big head and shoulders, right? I mean, I called this out. I said, hey, this looks like a head and shoulders. Go take a look at my Twitter. I called this thing out when it was down here. I mean, this thing was all the way down here. Wasn't even headed back up. I called this retrace back up. Called this dump right here. I called every single move right here. Very, uh, pretty accurately, right? Now, what I want to see is, you see how we got this little tick right here, right? Technically, this shoulder start, this is the bottom of the head and shoulders pattern, up, shoulder, head, right? And I'll stretch this out, make that a little more clear for you. Up, shoulder, head, down, up, shoulder, down, second little baby shoulder right here on this trend line. So you got this trend line right here. I expected this little bounce right here, right? Expected a little bit of a bounce right here because you found support on this trend line in this region of this trend line right here, okay? Uh, down, bounced off, right? Coming down. I still could see a little bit more of a bounce. We don't have to have this small of a bounce. We could see a little more pronounced bounce here and then back down one more time. Also, there's no reason that you can't 
put in a higher bounce here, a higher bounce with a lower uh, top side here would be extremely bearish for me. Okay, so I'd like to just keep an eye on that. But I don't like this pattern right here at all for the bulls. I also don't like the death crosses. The death crosses coming and looking at this pattern, it just doesn't give me that warm, fuzzy feeling on anything that's too crazy of a pump, right? Right now, that doesn't mean we can't retrace a little, then go up, let this three-day bull cross go over us, all right? So here's our WMA TSI chart. So our weighted moving average TSI chart, I set this up. There's two different patterns at play. Actually, there's multiple patterns. You get the three leg down, you get the two leg down. This is making a three leg down pattern. You see there's the first, second, third drop, right? Now we did the same thing here in all of these. And I just don't know if this is going to play out very similarly to this. And or like I said, your next support, your heavy support that you've got to hold is 3540 something. If you can't hold 3540, uh, this basically is is over to a new lower low. So you could still come down here, 3540, right? You still there'd be your head. This then would be your shoulder like that, something like that, right? And this would be your, basically, you're just going to play out your head and shoulder. Boom, 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 fail, right? I, and I, I'm not, I still don't know if we could get this high. I still think I'm still looking at 44.30 kind of as a top side for me. I still would like to see 44.30 play out. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, who cares, right? The quicker we get to baby bull Jesus, the better, right? But we do have a bunch of support. The reason I don't want to draw another arrow down here right now is because I just, I, I want to see us get through this 35.40 region first. Right, I really think getting through the 3540 region, and then I, all right, okay, now I'm I'm now we're gonna retest these lower lows, and we'll see how there's a lot of confluence down here, and then I I I'd, I'd make the assessment from there. Now, when these this usually breaks down, this two leg down or three leg down, right? You come down and you start you'll you'll eventually catch like boom. See this green caught right there, price action caught right there. So we haven't caught anything. There's nothing right here really uh, to catch on to. Now you do have this one little. Hmm. No, we already broke that. Even though this does, I'm going to push this up just a little bit. Okay. Uh, so now I would like to, like I said, I would like to run through this. And start touching. You've got these other supports below. There's one, two. I would like to see this come down. Let's catch some of this support right here. And then we'll we'll figure out. Maybe, you know, then we'll bounce off there. Uh, there's a lot that can happen, right? You can get you can get a nice bounce uh, down here anywhere. Maybe one more little tick down. Uh, now, if this does pull back, which I don't think is possible because we're going to close out that 12-hour candle in one hour. So this will close here. This is a, oh, sorry, it's a one-day chart. I apologize. This is a one day chart. So this one day chart has got 14 hours to go. This is pretty far. I mean, you'd have to get an insane bounce out of this to pull this trend line back off it. Is it possible? Yes, 100%. Uh, but once again, I do not like that at all. Longs and shorts, nothing to talk about. Nothing. There's no squeezes. There's no liquidity. There's no nothing. No one is doing shit right now. I swear to God, if somebody says there's some kind of a squeeze going on right now, just quack, just smack them, okay? Just smack them for me. Uh, now, over here on the weekly on Bitstamp, we have been trending bullish, right? Been trending a little bit bullish on our weekly histogram. Got this nice run up. This is beautiful. Nothing says this can't do this. Woobity, 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 woo, and drop us back out, right? Still just, just going to keep watching for this. Mm. Uh, nice bounce off our stoke, still on the bottom. There's our, uh, this is our, our, this is our weekly RSI. Nice bounce off the bottom. Uh, can still retrace back down. There's nothing that says it can't retrace back down. For a lower close, I still think we got to go a little lower. Uh, I, st I, 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 there's nothing here that says that the low is in. Nothing, and I, I know a lot of bulls were getting really bullish there for about five minutes, and then all that bullish stuff just kind of died out real quick. Okay.
Uh, now, this is my stoke, my 12 hour stoke on Bitstamp. Uh, you see all these TD patterns that play out here. Very similar. These are also corresponding with some. This is like our three. This is our one, two, three. Our three, uh, three leg up and then dump right there. This was that. That two leg up and dump was here. This was the three leg up and dump here. Two leg up and dump there. Uh, this is, look, you did the same thing. This is a bullish TD9. So you hit there bounced, made a higher high, right? Bullish TD9, down, made a higher high. Bullish TD9, down, made a higher high. And then these all slowly started to fall off. Now this did break bearish for us because this the stoke retraced so far, this is bearish. There is not a lot of room left to go here on the stoke, right? Your stoke, you're, you're still got, you just got a little bit of room. So to me, this stoke level says, hey, Maybe we just get a little bit more of a retrace, then we get a bounce, right? This says, uh, so I'll put that in there. So when I look at this, this kind of this, this says maybe a little more. Uh, it says maybe, I don't know, let's look at our charts real quick. Uh, you know, maybe hit the 7MA. Uh, for the, the two day or the weekly or something like that, maybe hit the 3650, 3700. I don't even know where we're at. Let's see where we're at right here. Uh, we're 3740, right? Maybe hit 3650 ish, right? And then bounce. I mean, that's a hundred points, that's kind of a lot. For here, you don't have much room. I mean, there's maybe 40 points of room in this, right? 3,700-ish, then bounce again. Right, there's just not a lot of room right down here, right? There's just not, right? So, i uh, going to move on. So, yeah, there's just, you, this just can't. Now it'll it'll hit it'll bounce it'll bounce up a little bit it'll down it'll bounce up a little bit and down but this is a confirmed bear break on this uh, this is a 12 hour chart though this 12 hour chart does close out in one hour so unless we get some insane magical fairy pullback where this thing pulls way back up into here this is definitely going to start closing this is going to close in a bearish territory right there okay uh, nothing not a uh Nothing. All right. <laughs> I just want you to know how long did we have to listen to the... The bulls have definitely gotten quiet on Twitter. All of a sudden, got really quiet on Twitter. I said, break this and poor Vamp needs to listen to 1 to 7 David Boltard saying the bottom is over. I think if you guys go on Twitter, the sentiment has changed once again. People are back in a more bearish uh, pattern. Uh, just, you know, and, and there's, there's, listen, it was a beautiful run. This doesn't have to be bearish and or bullish right now, right? This could just be a beautiful pullback. You ran a thousand points. It's a nice pullback. You still have one more leg up. I, I'm still not, I'm not sold on anything or anyone going any direction right now. We're kind of in a limbo. We're, we're literally just parked in a limbo. That's it. That's all we are. We're just trapped in a limbo right here. And uh, that's it. I mean, I don't have any, I, I, can't, I can't go either way right here. I do want to take a look at the volume. Let's look at the volume really quick. Uh, the weekly volume definitely dying off. No reason that this can't pull back up into some kind of a doji style candle right there in the week. But then now let's show you guys this. This monthly right here. Very bearish monthly. If we do close lower than 3,600, 3,650, if we close at 3,650 by the end of this month, right? And or lower. Now you've got your weekly bull cross, bear cross, that's coming, right? You guys got your weekly bear cross that's coming. That weekly bear cross, God, where's my phone? Give me a second, guys. Give me a second here. Uh, that weekly bear cross is manana. So that's going to be the 27th. So you got your weekly bear cross tomorrow on the 27th. That gives you 20, 29, 30, 31. So that gives you one, two, three, four days in a weekly bear cross. 
And that, for me, is a little, eh, right? Eh, a little bearish for me, okay? So you you got this as a monthly, so maybe you pull up a little bit, get everybody a little hyped, and then that bear cross hits, and then every you know then it smacks this back down a little bit, and then everybody can go whatever you know what I'm saying. Then we can we can we can figure it out from there. But once again, I do not like that bear cross that is approaching us. Uh, bearish, definitely bearish uh, volume on the monthly. Uh, weekly, uh, you still got uh, a couple days left. Low volume, though, environment. Uh, yeah, the holidays are also going to be a part of that. Uh, three day, very bearish. Uh, you you had this uh, bearish setup right here, and you did drop out. It's almost a kind of a quasi hanging man style candle right there. Hanging man for sure. This would be this would be an inside bar, a hanging man with a uh, <coughs> um, what's it called? Uh, pin bar fakie. And then dropped out bearish. Okay, so there's that uh, volume on this two-day. Uh, I'm not sure. The three-day volume is good. It's very bearish. Good for the bears. Uh, daily volume, you got half the day in. This volume candle looks like shit. Uh, you know, unless you start breaking these, unless you start really putting some, some sauce to the pudding, we're going to get a bounce off this. Uh, there's your daily 30 MA. Bounced off at once. Dead cat bounce. If it tests it again, we'll see if it holds. But uh, look, you, you came through it, pulled back, bounced out of it, pulled back. It's trying to break back down. If it tests this more than twice, uh, I, I figure you test this two or three more times, and then it'll go for sure, right? 12 MA, uh, one hour left. Not looking good on the volume side. Two back-to-back -back horrible candles uh, for both the bears and the bulls. Nothing to write home about for anybody. Don't get excited about anything. Same thing. Just a lot of hoob de hoo A lot of very horrible volume. Uh, we are trading in a low volume, low trading volume environment. So I would be very careful. Uh, going either way, going bull and or bear here, just because the uh, the volume is absolute shite in this position because of the holidays. And then now we're going to be going. <clears throat> we're kind of getting go. From today, tomorrow, then you're going to start to move into the weekend. Uh, so it's Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday. And then we're going to have literally one day. And then you're going to go into the weekend. So it's going to be a very low volume environment trading. So even any pumps and or dumps, I expect them to be low volume this, this for the next few days. Okay, I, I and I'll put that on there. I want to put this up here on the chart. Just another warning, right? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, sucky, it is a holiday. Any pumps or dumps over the next uh, three to four days. Three to four days, I think we'll have limited volume. Or low or, or spikes of volume due to holidays. And the uh, coming weekend. Doom, doom, doom. And we're just going to run that all the way down there. I mean, you can, you know, this is pretty much just holiday volume here. <coughs> so even a bounce, even a bounce. <coughs> Uh, even a bounce uh, down here. Like I said, there's a lot of support. I, I'm just going to basically just kind of try to stay out of this market, right? I'm going to stay out of the market pretty much. And uh, that's it. I mean, I, you know, listen, I can catch this when I come back. I'll be able to catch this market. But I just, uh, you know, it, it's going to be, 
I just think it's going to be some range trading here. Even if this does break up, I think it's just got some limited legs on it. And it'll just pull right back down. Uh, even if this breaks down, I think this will just pull right back up. Uh, just because you don't have the volume to really drive this. right? Even like a, a dump right here, I think you'll hit 35, 45. And get some kind of a possible... A little bit of a bounce out of that. We got, we'll have to see what happens. All right, and I think that's it for me. Um, looking at alts, uh, same thing. A lot of crazy volume. Some little sporadic pumps going on. Low volume pumps. I mean, base, just look at this. You know, this pump right here. There's just, this was nothing. There's, there's no, look, there's nothing. There's just no, there's nothing behind these. There's nothing behind these moves. It's just holiday. This is what happens. Holiday, giant raven, ugly as F. I'm telling you, if you're in raven, I am in raven. I have my stop losses set. I am scared about raven right here. Uh, ADA, nice coinbase pump. Very nice job in the coinbase pump. About to put in a really wicked uh, three-day candle. Uh, that's not a good candle to have on uh, ADA. Um, over on Ethereum, <clears throat> same thing, just low volume. Look at the volume was just dropping down. This was actually bullish. You had bullish divergence. You got a little bit of a pump up. The volume is picking up speed. This is a 12 hour uh, chart, but it is low volume. Uh, look at these crazy candles like this pump. People just getting wrecked playing these uh, these pumps right here. That's all it is. I, I don't like to trade in this environment personally. I, I'm not, I don't want to really trade in this environment. Let's take a look at the Dow for a second, people. Listen, if you are in the Dow right now and you are shorting the Dow, man. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to go. I will do a video towards uh, very close. I'll probably do it uh, right before the end of the year, if not right after the end of the year. Uh, I had called for 15% correction and shoo. I mean, we're at 19% right now, right? If I would have been shorting the market, but I don't do stocks, boys and girls, I do not do stocks. I'm just telling you, if I would have been short in the market, I would have been, oh my God, the money I would have made would have been absolutely insane. Would have been insane. Jesus Christ. That would have been nuts. Just nuts. Uh, Litecoin. Uh, same thing, uh, under the wedge over here. Uh, this is Litecoin, Bitcoin uh, under the wedge, uh, fell out of the wedge over here. Uh, just found support. There, you look at the two day, landed on support on the two day. And I want to go take a look at one more thing on Bitcoin real quick, guys. Uh, let's XRP, a bearish pennant over here, bearish pennant over there. Don't like either one of these. Um, EOS, a little stronger, a little stronger, still posting up bearish pennant. Mm, I want to go look at one thing real quick. All right, here we go. I want to look at this two day. Uh, I'm just going to breeze through this two day. So I want to see, uh, this is our Bollinger Bands right here. This is our two-day. Bollinger Bands are so ugly on all these higher time frames. There's the three-day. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's the weekly. The weekly is actually not bad, 3K. Uh, but the three-day is down at, is so deep. And it's high also. I mean, it's just, it's super wide. Right, look at how wide the Bollinger Band is over here on the three day. Like, that is some crazy, massive. Uh, listen, if this thing did fall out and it did follow this, uh, this would be ugly. This would be super hardcore ugly right here. 2300 is the three day bottom on the right now. There's your bearish cross right there. I just I want to look at this two day because we're being held up by this two day 7MA. Right, did a great job holding us down. Look, bang, 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 bang. Finally broke do it. Down testing it again. I want to see how well this plays out on some of these other time frames. Take 
volume off, VPVR off, Bollinger Bands off. Alright, so this is very interesting. Okay, so take a look at all your falls. Look at this very peculiar pattern, okay? So every time you fall, right, how messy is this chart? All right, all right, so look here. So every time you break through the 7MA, there's your break. There's your break on the 7MA, right? When you retest the 7MA, you break through it. There's the break of it. Uh, this retest bounced, bounced, died. <coughs> Excuse me. Retest, right? Never touched it. When it did touch it, it died. Broke through. Retest and just died right through it. Broke through. Retested, held it, never regained the top again, died right through. Broke it, uh, rode it. I mean, this is all bullshit. This is a tether pump. I'm telling you, this should all be this should all be chopped out, and this piece should be right over here. Okay. Let me do that. I just want to look at this. I need a clean chart. Come here, clean. What do you got on here? Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this apart. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this. So, volume off, Gauss trend line off, Bollinger Bands off. So I might leave the Bollinger Bands on there.
not right. Right, sir. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And ladies. All right, and that is all I got. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to point out of this chart is with the two-day 7MA, when you break bullish, so you break the, the 7MA, you retest it, right? So you break it, you retest it, bounced. Look, retested it, bounced. This is very bullish time in our history. Bounced, bounced, done, right? We know that both of these areas, very bullish on Bitcoin. People were still... Everybody on Bitcoin was saying how we we're going back up to 20K. I saw, I mean, I can't tell you how many charts back in this time said that we're going to hit 20, 30, 40,000. I mean, pretty much every single TA god back then was all tooting their horns saying that this was it. It was going to the moon. So these were more bullish, right? Uh, more bullish in a more bullish time of greater liquidity and All right henceforth the bounces okay now as you got deeper Right, this is definitely more bearish. You know, people just didn't trust it anymore. It just continued. Look, the bounces got smaller and smaller and smaller, and then this just dribbled out while the, the you know the exchanges tried to hold this up. You then got this fallout here. Now you tell me, are people more bullish on Bitcoin right now? So this is the question you have to ask yourself: Are you more bullish? At sixty five hundred. Oh, come on. Uh, let's do that. So listen, if you think this thing is going to the moon, all right, all right then you need to be going long, okay? <coughs> so we're about to find out, you know, what what you what really the sentiment, what the feeling is right here. If we do break this, right? If this gets broken, the sentiment for Bitcoin will be bearish. Right, this 7MA will help us decide the sentiment out of DC. Right. If people are really more bullish on BTC, you know, I mean, there's, you know, like here, look, we would just get it along. Right. Now, weak.
week. Those are all. All right, everybody. I would like to say thank you. I am done. I am beat. I've got, guys, I have literally a ton of messages. I swear to God, I will do them all. I won't, and Twitter's the same way. I mean, my Twitter is just absolutely stacked to the sky with messages. I have so many messages in my Twitter, guys. I swear to God, I will get to it tomorrow. <clears throat> I would like to say thank you to everybody for being here. Um, if you would be super awesome if you guys uh, would do me a favor just go out there always appreciate a nice little holiday shout out uh, get over there smash the share button please help me subscribe <laughs> my damn computer can't even load that up I need to shut it off turn it back on I will do that tomorrow uh, please do me a favor get over here help me subscribe uh, give me some subscribers go out there share uh, Twitter anything you can do uh, I want to say thank you all. Yes, I will be enjoying my family. Each and every one of you should be out enjoying your family, your loved ones. I want to say thank you again from all of us over here at Until One Mill. I am the Vamp, and I am out.